Last week, we got to hear Jim Collins, author of Good to Great, speak at an event, and he had an amazing quote on leadership. Jim Collins actually quoted Dwight Eisenhower as saying that leadership is the art of getting people to want to do that which must be done. It's an interesting and challenging idea because when we hear the word art, we think abstract concepts and amazing natural talents, and it begs the question, do we have that talent? Gallup says the answer is no. According to Gallup's information, only one in 10 people have the talents necessary to manage people. So if Eisenhower's right and it is an art and Gallup's information is correct and nine out of 10 people don't have the natural talent, the good news is this, nine out of 10 great leaders had to learn how to do it. And so how do you learn that kind of stuff? I actually like doing art. I've learned how to do photography. I've even learned how to do watercolor. And if you're not familiar with watercolor, you don't recognize the techniques here. But if you studied it, you can see that the clouds have wet on dry technique and the foam in the ocean has masking used. And then you can see where the bird's running. It's a wet on wet wash and I'm doing some color lifting. So how do we learn the art of getting people to want to do that which must be done? I think you need a three legged stool on the first leg. We got to show people that we care. Be interested in them as a person. Convince them that you have their back. Next, be sure to explain the why. What's the reason that we got to do this? Why do we have to follow the procedures to make sure that things get done on time? The answer you'll hear is, well, if we don't follow the procedures, that'll be inefficient. Avoiding inefficiency didn't get anybody out of bed in the morning. There's a bigger reason why. The secret question to draw out the answer is to ask the question and then what happens? So we're inefficient and then what happens? The project will take too long and we'll lose money and then what happens? If that project takes too long and costs us money, we're not gonna have resources to invest in the company and we might miss being awarded that next big job which will lead to even more referrals. Make sure the why is really big. The third leg of the stool is collaborative clarity. Make sure you're really clear on what good looks like and then collaborate. Involve them in how do we build a plan to hit this goal? What should the goals be? How hard should we be stretching? The more those that you're leading are involved in collaborating to make the plan and set the goals, the more bought in they'll be. And when we can effectively show people we care, explain a really big why, and get them involved in the planning and the goal setting, that's gonna set us up for the art of getting people to want to do that which must be done. We hope this has helped you become a better and more purposeful leader. If you're interested in any of the slides that we showed you today, just drop send it in the comments and we'll get that right out to you.